And welcome back. The fan base at YSU football games has changed since the last national championship season of 1997. But one thing that hasn't changed, enthusiasm for the Penguin football program. Many of those who do go to the games, they're diehards. And here's the story of two of YSU's most loyal fans, one of whom can easily be called the number one fan. The Struthers Belleria is owned by a group of rabid YSU fans, of which Bob Camardo in the black t-shirt is one of. You'll find YSU memorabilia prominently displayed on shelves over the bar. I've gone to pretty much, not as many as my buddy here has, but I've gone to pretty much every home game in that, you know, since, since I was in college. Bob Camardo's buddy, who joined us at a table, is Elmer Bursling, who from 1992 to 2014, 22 years, missed only one YSU football game, home or away, and the one he missed was because his mother-in-law died. Bob called Elmer YSU's number one fan. And it just grew and grew to what it is today. Elmer and his wife, Roe, run a tailgate party at every home game, where you can find Bob Camardo on game days. But Elmer also remembers going to games at Rayon and tailgating out of his trunk outside of Fitch Stadium. That's how long he's been a fan. In fact, many of his pictures show large groups of people at YSU football games having fun. A lot of the, the people that we mingle with now, we met on the road at road games, road football games. And you become very close with them. And when you get home, you're just as close. You invite them to tailgate or they invite you to their tailgate. And this is how it just, it grows. Elmer and Bob have been to all the national championship games. 91 was one of those that <clears throat> you'll always remember because we ended up jumping over the wall after the railing or after the game and running all over the field. And this year's team reminds me a lot of the 91 team. It was a team that was floundering at midseason, especially offensively, and then somehow found themselves at the end of the year, got in the playoffs, and went on a run. Another thing Camardo remembers about the 91 game is being given a commemorative keychain right afterwards. And 25 years later, it's the same keychain that I use. It's got the YSU logo on the front and on the back it says National Champs 1991 NCCA 1AA, so they screwed that up. Both of them will be at this year's game, but aren't sure how it will compare with championship games of the past that were big parties and a lot of fun. It's been 17 years since the last one. They kind of screwed up the, the ticket situation at YSU, and people were kind of going on their own and sitting in different areas and stuff, so I don't know how that's going to play out, I, I, and, and I don't know that we have the same fan base now that we had back then, but um, I'm sure the people down there will have a good time. I know I will, and I know Elmer will too. I know, Bob Camaro, you caught all those games, all those years, those basketball games. He sat like three rows behind you or something there. One example of many, the passion very, very clear. They love their football. He does, and so do so many others. A lot of sure. those fans I've seen over the years, I don't know all their names, but when I see them, I go, oh, I see them at all the football games or all the basketball That's games. That's one thing. They certainly have their name they on do. plenty of those seats. They, they love do. that.